Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is uh, Brahma Bull, and uh, I'd like to take a moment to thank you all for the support. So here's the thing, America is in trouble. I've got a few articles to uh, take a look at today. Um, basically a whole bunch of information that I've been able to dig up. It tells us the same thing we already know, but uh, a few sources. So from the Insider, we have a story going over the inflation rate and how Jen Psaki had soulless ginger, the circle back girl is basically trying to uh, blame the inflation rate on, you know, Vladimir Putin, Russia, and uh, the invasion of Ukraine, as well as the in increase in gas uh, prices. So inflation is up to 7.5% in just over a year of Biden's presidency. This is the highest it's been since Carter. Um, just a few months ago, Jen Psaki was trying to tell us that inflation is a good thing, and now the Biden White House is actually claiming that the rising prices and inflation is due to Russia. So by this regime's statements, would it appear that Russia is doing us a favor since inflation is such a good thing? I'm not sure where they get off trying to pass these things off as facts, but uh, Jen Psaki is absolutely insane. It must be hard to do her job lying every day, day in, day out. So when Biden took office 14 months ago, the national average for gas was $2.39. Uh, as of yesterday, gas is now standing at $4.17 per gallon. That's the highest it's been since 2008, I believe. That was uh, Katrina. So, I mean, just, uh, just a little story. Yesterday, I was at Costco and saw some F-150s. They could not even fill up their gas tanks because the pump shut off at $100. So on an extended gas tank, say a 37-gallon uh, tank, they can't even get a full gallon or a full tank of gas because of the prices of the gas right now. Which brings me to my next point. Joe Biden is insane. And we used to ask a very basic question during the first few years of a presidency especially when it was leading up to an election year. This year, we've got midterms. The question was, are you better off now than you were under the last guy? Of course, that question shifted to, is a mentally incompetent douche canoe better than Donald Trump? If at this point you don't know the obvious answer to these basic questions, you probably live in Hollywood or the White House. Biden's rollback of every Trump policy has been devastating to our economy and foreign policy from day one. Biden opened the borders for all intents and purposes, and his voters cheered that because apparently we were no longer racist. This was at the same time a virus still engulfed swaths of the country. Biden was literally trying to shut down businesses over the mandates, and they're cheering that we've got the borders wide open. His voters have even gone on now to cheer guns being handed out to civilians in, in Ukraine. This is why they, while they still deride actual American citizens for the Second Amendment, wanting to protect their property and their borders. Now, you may say these things don't equate, but while Russia is violating U Ukraine's border militarily, the invasion of the U.S. through the southern border is ultimately going to have the same long-term effect. Biden also unilaterally decided to destroy America's energy independence by stopping any drilling and fracking he could and by stopping the Keystone XL pipeline. At the same time he did this, he's let Russia complete the Nord Stream pipeline. The result is we're now funding Russia's aggression while verbally denouncing their actions in Ukraine. The cost of natural gas and oil is, sky is skyrocketing, and it's hurting the poor and the middle class here in America. Wise sages like George Takai are telling us that the American people need to sacrifice and suck it up. And he said, we can endure higher prices for food and gas if it means putting the screws to Putin. Consider it a patriotic donation in the fight for freedom over tyranny. George Takai is probably still a millionaire. I know he hasn't done much. He had one show um, that I, I can remember, and that was the original Star Trek, which didn't even last that long. His fame has kept him in the spotlight um, and is is basically still making him money. But the American people can't handle the massive inflation and, go and gas uh, price changes. Um, Secretary of State, or Secretary of Transportation, 
Pete Buttigieg has suggested that we buy $80,000 electric vehicles. Now, they may both like getting penetrated in an uncomfortable place, but the American people, I don't think, enjoy what's going on right now. And as for those electric vehicles, that brings us to our next tweet. Elon Musk came out and said, hate to say it, but we need to increase oil and gas output immediately. Extraordinary times demand extraordinary measures. So Elon Musk is acting based when our own government is sitting there trying to do absolutely everything they can to destroy us. So in closing, I'd like to say, honest people need to ask themselves, would any of this have happened under 45? As the midterms approach, go back to the original political question. Are we better off now than we were with Trump? Vote locally, run for school boards, city council, even mayor. Stop putting rhinos in office, help with the campaigns, and get involved. Only we the people can make the change we desperately need. That four-year respite between eight years of Obama and the disastrous start of the Biden administration was not enough. Now, as we loom towards another failure of Carter-like proportions and hardships, we must make America great again. So that's all I got for today. Um, you know, this is Brahma Bull. I'm, I would like to ask you to like this video, uh, share this video. Please subscribe to the channel if you do like what I'm doing. I'd like to thank all of you patriots and cheers.